Hey, what's going on? JD here and I have a quick unboxing for you. Today we are going to unbox the Specialized Recon ADV shoes. These shoes are what I'm going to be using this season for the gravel bike. I've selected them for some interesting reasons, but we're going to go into the unboxing here, take a look at them and let you know what I think. If we pop this guy open, it's got the specialized body geometry on there. If you're interested in that, you can definitely check that out. But we've got the shoes. We'll just pull those out. Get rid of that box. Take a look. So the first thing that you are going to obviously notice is that I have gone with laces. Now, I will be racing in these shoes, but I will also be doing some bike packing and some other gravel rides and some more recreational stuff. So I wanted something that could sort of bridge that entire range. In the past, typically when I've ridden the gravel bike, I have been using road shoes. So I wanted something with a little bit of walkability because you can't really hike and bike in road shoes. You can, not fun, but I wanted something that was a little bit more comfortable and that's what these shoes are sort of going for. They want a little bit more comfort, but they also don't want to give way in performance. For those of you that know, laces a lot of times are really great for comfort. Uh, for those of you who have boa dials, sometimes you will get hot spots. I get that on my road shoes from occasion, especially on longer rides. This gives you a lot more adjustability so you can get it form fitting to your foot. And that is important. If we take a look, we can see with these shoes that we've got the nice nylon upper. It's got a little bit of kind of a texture to it and we've got the specialized logo on the side if we take a look at the laces one of the great features here is we have this nice little elastic to keep things tucked away so it's not going off into your drivetrain or anything like that so once you've tied them up you can tuck them in and your laces are carefully stowed on top and that is fantastic we can see inside we've got the body geometry insoles, nice little specialized logo there. And these, of course, are SPD based cleats. So not like road where you're going to have the bigger thing. You're going to have this tucked away. It is recessed. So you've got the knobs here where you can walk around. But the big thing about this shoe as well is that I got it because it has a full carbon shank which is important i like really stiff shoes i like stiff shoes on the road i like them when riding gravel as well that's why i typically wore road shoes when i rode gravel the only disadvantage is if you ever have to dismount and run or hike that you're going to run into problems immediately so this is my solution in between so we've got the full carbon shank it is super stiff it might not be as stiff as a road shoe but it definitely is going to provide you a solid platform to pedal on as you can see the cleat will be recessed so you can walk these have a flexible toe I don't know if you can see that to give you a little bit more walkability now because it does have a full carbon shank don't expect it to be like walking in a pair of sneakers it is still going to be fairly rigid but this is going to help a good little bit with your walking they've basically changed the rubber here as well and so you can see across here that the rubber goes basically from front to back with things. It is quite sticky. So if you are climbing, it should give you a decent grip. Again, a huge advantage over road shoes because road shoes, you're just basically a carbon fiber shank all the way through. You'll have maybe a little piece of rubber on the back. You're standing on cleats that are above here and they're just pure plastic and you're going to slip around like crazy. Never fun to walk in road shoes. I'm sure if you've ever had to do that, that you know exactly what I am talking about. So this guy comes in at $225. It is a decent price point. Uh, it's it's kind of a, a midline thing. This is, this is not an S-Works pair of shoes. Uh, you are not going to be able to replace this rubber once it wears down. Not that I can see that anything 
makes it replaceable. As you can see, it kind of goes up the side here. So that's one of the disadvantages of the shoes. Some shoes you will find that you're able to replace some of the cleats. So when eventually they do wear down, that you can get more longevity out of your shoe. I am sure that based on how these are designed, that these cleats are going to wear out long before anything happens to that full carbon shank. But, you know, stealthy black, looking good. Uh, let's pull out the scale and see how much these guys weigh. So we'll zero that out. And we'll see if we can get it on there. Weighing in at 322.39 grams. Now this is kind of precariously put on the scale here. So we're gonna weigh the other one to make sure that we're kind of in the right range. But 322.42 grams for the shoe. Uh, a little bit on the, the heavier side, but not too, too heavy as well. And we'll throw the other one on there. And we've got 323. So basically you are looking at 650 grams for a pair of these shoes. Not terribly bad. Again, these guys feature sort of laser cut holes throughout. That will give the breathability that you want on the bike to get a little bit of airflow. There is no venting on the bottom naturally because you're gonna be walking around in these. And again, unlike road shoes, uh, if you're hiking and biking and it's a bit muddy, you actually don't want the venting on the bottom because you don't want to get your feet wet and it gets, you know, kind of messy really fast. So overall looking really good. And again, we've got like a rubberized toe box here and some further coverage down here where it is not vented. Again, to kind of prevent some of that water getting into your feet. So anyways, that is a quick look at the Specialized Recon ADV shoes. If you do have any questions about these, please do leave a comment down below. Later in the season, I will definitely give a review, let you know how it's going with these. Uh, as I mentioned, I will be doing some adventure riding as well as some racing in them. So if you wanna have some questions and throw them down below, I will definitely answer them as they come along. And as I mentioned, later in the season, once we've put some good few miles on these, we will give you a review of how they are on the bike. As always, remember, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button so you get notifications. And until next time, see ya.